Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zero Tolerance TV. We actually have more games in this first group here. Oh, I'm ZT, by the way. <laughs> I fucked it up. I'm not re-recording. Okay, it's too much effort to hold control and click F2 and then click F1. That's, no, it's too much for me. So I'm just, I'm going with it. Uh, like I said, we have uh, more games in this group because there's tiebreakers. So this is Zellos vs. Jinnam. Um, this, we're on Guillotine again, which has been an interesting map. The No High Grounds is interesting, and the, um, actually again we see Close By Air rush distances, so we're gonna have to see how that affects the game. So far it's not been too much. Um, maybe like the TVT here was a little more drop oriented, but you know, dropships are really good in TVT anyway, so it's kind of, you know, maybe, maybe it was a little more droppy, but that doesn't change it too much. So, uh, we'll see. This is a Zerg vs. Terran with Zelos vs. Jinnam, so probably gonna see Mutas. That is, I'd say, the most standard strategy from Zerg is just to go Mutas, like, literally every game in this matchup. Um, probably because Mutas are, like, one of the three best units in the game. All of which are Zerg units, by the way. Zerg has the best units, it's just, like, not close. If you don't agree, uh, shut the fuck up, okay? You're just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, Protoss and Terran have some good units too. But all the best units are Zerg units, it's just a fact. <laughs> I mean, come on, Defilers? Mutalisks? Something else? They're just, they're all so good, all three of those. Especially the something else. <laughs> I don't know, okay, maybe it's just the top two units. It's, they're, those are the top two units in the game now. I mean, Mutas and Defilers, like, basically define their matchups. Anyway, <laughs> onto this game that's actually getting played here and not this hypothetical game that's going on in my head where Zerg is clearly imbalanced. Uh, we see Gas from Terran, pretty, pretty normal. Uh, could be basically anything from here. All this really, you know, uh, discludes it would be uh, Either gasless expand or like a two racks, but could basically be anything from here. Could be a Goliath build, although I don't think that was a thing yet. This is from 2003, maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, quick gas from Jinnam on one base. I think this might be a speedling play. Still no. Not sure. Did he did he mine 100 gas yet? I kind of think that he didn't. So, I was probably just not started mining gas yet. And yeah, there's a hatchery. Hmm. Okay, this is actually his first hatchery built over here at the choke. So, usually you'd see that either at the natural or... Well, yeah, you'd see that at the natural. Um, and yeah, you know what? He's already pulled... Okay, so it was speed into pulling everything off gas. So... I'm kind of thinking this is going to be pretty aggressive by Jinnam. I think that he doesn't want to do much macroing this game. Probably just going to try to make a ton of speed lanes and win. We'll see though. Could just make a third hatch at the uh, natural location there, but already quite a few speed er, zerglings made. Not quite speedlings yet. And yeah, he does have a hatcher here now. So. Yeah, I, I don't know why the first hatch wasn't just built at the natural there. Um, I wouldn't even say this is much safer. The only thing this would really let him do, other than have a closer rally for making Zerglings and just sending them to his opponent's base, uh, but the only thing that would really let him do defensively is put uh, sunken colonies there in case he thought he was being attacked, but... I mean, look at all these Zerglings. There's no way he's that worried about getting attacked when he's just making a ton of lanes, so... We'll have to see. I do expect something aggressive, and if not, I'd say, you know, kind of just behind a little bit. <laughs> does have that uh, natural before his opponent, and there's a layer coming, so 
Looks like this is not going to be any sort of big speedling all in. This hatchery is just about done. Yeah, I, I guess this is for quick sunk. Um, sure. All right, well, whatever. You do you, I guess. We got that first sunk done already. I mean, that is definitely why you would put a hatch there. Generally. Just have creep in that area. And you're going to want that hatchery anyway. But it seems to me he could have just put made his natural hatchery first. And there's no real downside to that. I, I guess if you are getting attacked, having only the natural hatchery means you need to put Sonks at both. So maybe this is just really map specific. And his thought was he's going for three hatches pretty quickly anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Already a third uh, creep colony there as well, so... <laughs> I'm not really sure. Jinnam is being a confusing person of this game. It looks like this is going to be pretty... Actually aggressive from... Uh, Zelos though, so... Maybe Jinnam is just the wizard? Could be. He Maybe he just knew that his opponent was going to three racks off one base. And that what he really needed was going to be a bunch of sunks there. Although, to be honest, he'd have already had like the hatchery at his naturals done already. So he'd have had time to build these sunks here, even if the, uh, the order had been reversed. But whatever. If this had been a quicker attack, that might have mattered. But this game, not really. I'll have to see how this bust goes. I don't think Zealous has started a CC at his uh, at his base there, so I do think he's going to go for a pretty big attack. And you know what that might be? It's kind of tough to say with um, with Orange. The Orange Terran kind of just blends in with this tile set, so he might actually have a CC started there. Uh, if he does, probably not going to bother with this attack, but I, I think he's going to, and I don't think there's a base there. So we'll see. This is quite a few units. Uh, Lurker Aspect is on its way. So that is going to be uh, Jin Nam's plan here. Okay, here we go. Bio moving in, but look at all these sunks. They're doing a lot of damage already. First one does go down. Second one down. Oh, it looks like... This might get broken. Zealous is losing a lot of his bio though. And with that fourth sunk finishing up, I don't think this is gonna be enough. Not even sure where the Zerglings are. They didn't really fight in this attack, but pretty handily pushed back there by Jinnem. So if that CC hasn't been started, Zealous is definitely behind now. <laughs> He's got four barracks. He's gotta have a CC over there. <laughs> can't, can't be producing a four racks with one base economy, right? Like, that's just not a thing. Uh, a couple links sneak in here. Gonna get the uh, scout off. And yeah, I, I'm just gonna say there's a CC there. I, I can't imagine there not being at this point with just the number of barracks he's making, so... I'm a little confused by that attack. I think it was pretty unnecessary and actually losing a lot of his map control for it. Lurkers are done now. Now, Jinnam is still actually on a pretty low drone count. He made a lot of sunken colonies. Su yeah, sunken colonies. Oh my god. I'm so used to correcting myself that now that I've actually kind of switched to saying colony, I'm still thinking it's wrong. Whatever. Uh, he did make a lot of sunken colonies, so that was quite a few drones. More or less killed. I think, really though, Zealous should have seen all those sunkens and just pulled back. Um... He didn't really need to bust. It's it's going to be two base economy versus two base economy, so there's no problem for Terran going a little later. And uh, yeah, obviously that attack did not kill the Zergs, so kind of just throwing some units away. <laughs> CB killed. Oh wow! So he's actually on one base. All right, so Zealous is just super far behind then. Like he made a ton of units it didn't work out he went up to four racks on one base so yeah I, I don't know man this is gonna be tough for him i really thought that there must have been a cc there but actually zealous just kind of i don't know this one seems like kind of a bit of a choke 
really odd that you'd make four barracks on one base. <laughs> Just, that's so much. Alright, a nice pick off on the Overlord there at least, so that's something. And it does kind of make a little more sense that he did go for that attack now. Just considering that uh, he didn't have any sort of macro plan really going on. He was pretty, pretty all in on getting damage done there and honestly just didn't get it. So yeah, I think Jinnam's in a pretty nice spot. Although Sunk's definitely worked out for him. Definitely can't question that anymore. <laughs> The, uh, the hatchery order, maybe, but, like, eight sunken colonies was definitely a good call. So what is Zell's plan from here? He's going... Yeah, I saw Starport, and I saw a tech lab. Or, not a tech lab, a machine shop on a factory. So I think he's going to... Yeah, he's getting siege. So he's going to go for siege tanks. Still doesn't have his natural, but... There's something at what would normally be the third... So maybe he's going to take that base instead of the natural. Um, I mean, for his sake, I definitely hope there's a command center over there. That or, or he's just accepted that this is completely all in and probably just isn't producing off all his barracks. I can't, I can't see how you can make units off four barracks plus a factory making siege tanks with one base econ. That just seems crazy to me. Um... Yeah, we'll see though, I guess. Quite a few lurkers already out. The siege tanks will do very well against them though. You can't really push into siege tanks very easily with lurkers, especially when they have bio support. The range is just really powerful. Okay, looks like Jinnam's actually gonna go for a drop, maybe? He does have a lot of units sitting underneath that Overlord. We'll have to see what he's deciding to do. And yeah, he's got Overlord speed. Uh, quite a few overloads here. This does look like something of a lurker drop. Which, if you're going to go for lurker tech here, uh, considering his opponent is now in siege tanks, I think it makes sense to try to do something like that with them. First vessel is out now. So this is going to be very important for detecting lurkers. Well, drops are loading up. So we'll see what kind of damage Jin or, uh, yeah, Jinnam can get with these drops. There are a bunch of turrets to scout it, and not seen quite yet. Zealous does not know yet. Okay, but here we go. Overlord's moving in. So Zealous should know by now if he's, you know, looking at his mini-map. Looks like Jinnam is just gonna burrow over in this area. Mm, I think he's gonna reload here. Yeah, he's gonna reload and try for the main. Let's see what Zealous has to defend. <laughs> nah, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting all his units into Overlords, but he does now have everybody loaded up. Some, well, just medics here loading so far. Siege Shank's somewhere shelling this as they come down. That one turret doing something, but. Yeah, this is so far not a great drop for Jinnam. He hasn't actually killed anything so far. Damaged some buildings. Looks like this eBay is going to go down, but he traded like three lurkers and some hydras for an eBay. That's not a great trade. Looks like this Stargate or Starport, excuse me, will live. Maybe he can get this control tower. A couple Scourge fly in and immediately get killed. And yeah, this drop was dealt with pretty well. Jinnam got basically nothing, uh, and lost like five lurkers or something, some hydras, even lost a couple overlords, so definitely better for Zalos there. I think he was kind of in need of something like that too, kind of just a completely botched drop. Jinnam kind of looks like he's going to try again almost, he's got more units crowding up underneath overlords, although they are moving out there. So Zealous in the meantime has taken pretty strong map presence. I guess all those, <laughs> the, the four racks plus a factory and starport off one base does give you a lot of units, I guess. <laughs> all right, three tanks here, it's a pretty good number. Usually, I mean, two is what you need 
for this sort of push, but three obviously is better. And this hatchery has basically no defense, so it is definitely going to go down. It does fall pretty quickly there, and Jinnam has decided on a counterattack, it looks like. Maybe he's trying to catch reinforcements, but I definitely think he's going to counter at the, uh, well, I guess the second base of Zelos. Looks like Zelos has sniffed it out, though, moving some units over to his third. Seachanks may be a bit out of position here, not quite close enough, but does have a bunker, although it's dead already. Quite a few Hydras here. And actually, uh, Zelos gonna decide he needs to abandon this base. Probably the safer choice. Get these SCVs out of there. Uh, they do die. Oh no, is he gonna lose the command center? He is gonna lose it. That's actually really rough. He needed to lift that off and move it out, but now some pretty heavy damage dealt to him by that counterattack, and really no units dead for Jinnam, so he can either keep attacking, or what's probably better would be to come back and flank. Or even just pick off reinforcements for this push. Basically any of those choices are fine. Yeah, there is a decent number of siege tanks and marines at the base. So it's going to be tough for him to actually attack. But uh, Zealous is moving in. He's kind of busted this position already. The sunks are all dead. The hatchery that was providing creep there, dead now. Just a just an evo chamber left. And Jinnam is getting kind of contained now. He does have hatcheries out on the map. Looks like he's taken two other bases. But I don't think we're at Hive Tech yet. So there's no noticing out of here for his units, his drones, or anything like that. And with no high ground, it's also kind of tough to just have a pure lurker defense. Kind of needs those defilers if he wants to hold that uh, with just lurkers. And there's definitely <laughs> no defilers if we're not on Hive Tech. So this is looking pretty rough for Z Jinnam right now. I thought he was in a pretty nice position, but this attack is going really well for Zelos. He did take a lot of damage to the counterattack. Hive is now starting, but really just is not going to be done in time to matter for this. Okay, but Jinnam's army is here. Lurker's running up, and they are burrowing next to the tanks. Getting pretty decent damage. If he can kill all the tanks, I think he's going to be able to clean up the rest of this bio. The Marines are killing drones at the moment, so some pretty decent damage done. But this looks like he's going to have his entire army cleaned up. I think that science vessel might get out, though. Well, that definitely matters, but losing a lot of army. So both players right now taking pretty heavy hits. Definitely not the most defensive game. <laughs> this is more of a... You know, if this were a boxing match, they'd be throwing haymakers. They're just kind of going for big attacks, not really weaving too much. Okay, oh boy, a lurker here is going to get some pretty good kills. Oh no, 9 already, up to 10 now. Zealous taking, oh my god, 14 SEVs died there. Pretty brutal. That one lurker doing a ton of damage to... Zalos and it looks like he might think that it's time to go at this point. He is on basically no economy. He does not have a CC landed. Really paying actually for not evacuating that CC from his second base. If he had, that would have been a lot better of a position. But now he has actually got a pretty nice siege going on here. A lot of damage going on to these Zerg units. And Jinnam is actually loading into his overlords, so he might just counter drop here. Not sure if those overlords... Yeah, it does look like they're leaving on the minimap there. So maybe just giving up his main. It is Greater Spire, so... I don't see any Guardians or anything. Uh, they would help quite a bit here. And actually, the Greater Spire is going to be destroyed. I don't see a Nidus. I don't see Defilers yet. So it looks like this attack should get a lot of damage done. A lot of, uh, of Jinnam's tech is going down here as well as a bunch of drones, so again, more of those haymakers. Lots of damage done. I think that is a spire building? I'm not sure. I would like them to click on it. Oh, wow, and a nice position for these tanks. Actually gonna be able to shell the drones and the natural, and a lot of them going down. Basically, basically everything in Jinnam's main and natural is going to be killed off, including his hive. He is counterattacking in the meantime in the base of Zealous, and really not much here to defend. Seems like they're both going to be losing a lot of their tech here. 
spawning pool even going down. So really the question is, what did Jinnam rebuild over at his, well, new main and natural, I guess is what those bases are now. Okay, some guardians were started, so he will have those. Did Aspire start? Did Hydrogen start? Oh man, it radiates on these guardians. So much invested into them, really for them to just die for nothing. Wow, he did have quite a few guardians started, but damn, that's a lot of irradiates. All of them but one are going to go down to them. Science Vessel's just going ham. Apparently saving up energy was not that bad because all those Guardians are dead and one Guardian is not that scary. A couple Lurkers actually getting picked off now as well. This last Guardian will be shot down by Marines. And this should be the end of Jinnam's natural. Quite painful for him. Those three science vessels just kind of destroyed his whole plan. That said, Zelos has very low econ himself. And now this base here is being attacked, has to be lifted off. At least he did get those SEVs out. All right, so Hydroden. Yeah, just a Hydroden. No lair started, and I did not see a Spire or... I mean, look at Defiler Mount if he just made it. That would have actually been really impactful. He's already got Lurker Aspects, so off Hatch Tech, with that Defiler mount, he could have basically had, like, the best Zerg defense, but did not make that before his Hive died, so he's really far away from that. Yeah, you know, I guess usually that sort of defense does use a ramp. It's really where it's most powerful, and oh man... Zealous army is up on Jinnam's base here. I think it is just going to be taken out. And Jinnam will be down to one base versus one base. Even his Hydroden is in kind of a bad position here. It's going to get taken out right away. So no more lurkers being produced. Getting real tough for Jinnam. He does have a pretty solid lurker count here. But at this point with the science vessels... Really Zealous can just grind him out if he has to. Uh, or he can probably just attack. His comp is pretty decent for fighting Lurkers. Uh, pretty good to radiate there on a Hydra. But a good response from Jinnam. Targets it down with the other Hydras. No brotherhood among Hydras, that's for sure. Another irradiate and another... Another betrayal, I guess we'll say. <laughs> Radiates forcing a decimation. It's real sad. I'm going to say that was 10 Hydras just because I wanted to, uh, you know, work in the Decimate there. Most people misuse that word, but it's okay. It's kind of changed meaning almost. <clears throat> uh, this is a pretty hefty tank count. Seven Siege Tanks here are going to do a really good job. A nice pick off there on that Science Vessel. Hydras ran in and got it, but not actually able to run out. Lurkers are running onto the tanks. Maybe Jinnam can actually still pull this out, but actually the tanks are just going to just destroy those poor Lurkers. Uh, none of the tanks actually died and all the Lurkers went down, so not a great attack there by Jinnam. Can kind of understand what he was going for, I think. That sort of had to work, and he was already in such a bad position, you might as well try it. But that does spell the end of the game. It looks like Zealous is going to take this one. <laughs> does he even have enough money for a uh, command center, though? Oh, this game might not actually be over yet. Jinnam has started a hatcher in the bottom right, but he's losing a lot of drones here. Uh, okay, so I thought those drones were actually going to get out, but no, none of them get away. So it's basically like five supply... Okay, well, actually, he's still got a bunch of lurkers randomly. Seven lurkers here. Six lurkers, actually. That's something. I think those SCVs actually just scouted the hatchery, though. Um, I think if Jinman was going to win this game, he definitely needed that to not get scouted. But this is what I was talking about, where he might not... Uh, where Zealous actually might not have enough money to make a, another command center. And that one's about to burn down. So, maybe this game can get kind of crazy. Definitely needs to land that. Okay, and now repair. Ooh, get your repair on. Oh my god, is he not gonna repair it? If that, if okay, if that CC dies and he does not have enough minerals to make another one, this game is actually still going. 
Okay, he is repairing it, but the Lurkers are running out. They might get a ton of SCV kills here. Might not actually matter that he can make another CC or start mining a little bit. A lot of SCVs did go down. This is still enough, though. He's, he's still got an economy, which is not really the case for Jinnem. Jinnem is kind of just on, yeah, like one drone. Pretty rough position. For a moment there, it looked like he might be able to kill off those... Uh, those SCVs in the command center, but Zealous did react. So that CC isn't lost because he won't lift off. And here we go, Zealous. <laughs> okay, looks like this was a replay and that was when uh, Jin Nam left the game. So pretty crazy one. Lots of, uh, lots of aggression there. I think, I, I think Jin Nam had it at one point, but Zealous attacks were pretty nice, and his tech choice was actually pretty great with all those tanks. Basically just countering what Jin Nam was doing. Well, that is it. I believe that is it for this group, unless we have more tiebreakers. Could be possible, I guess. Zeus did kind of just dominate, so maybe everybody else is tied to like 1-2 or something. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you come back for the next one.